In a matter of hours, we will enter the holiest day of the Jewish year, Yom Kippur. It is a day to strip away the superficial layers of our lives in favor of facing the darkest truths we know. It's a day to see ourselves with utter honesty and unflinching ethical accountability. Joining in prayer on the High Holidays is an important piece of the spiritual work we do to heal the hurts we have caused. But heartfelt prayers have never been enough to repair the harm our actions may have inflicted on the people around us. When possible, we must make amends. This isn't spiritual work that only individuals do. Jewish institutions are also obligated. We will be judged by how we respond when presented with the truth of our misdeeds, including our inaction in the face of trauma experienced and survived by people in our communities. Our movement is in a moment of reckoning. For far too long, we have looked the other way when harmful actions were committed by some in our community. We have been quiet as instances of sexual harassment, oppression, and abuse have occurred in our institutions. And we have been reticent to speak out when those in positions of authority use their power to impede and demean our colleagues who are women, LGBTQ+, people of color, people with disabilities simultaneously harming them and robbing our institutions of their essential contributions. Our movement is not alone in the failures within the Jewish community or beyond, but we are accountable for how we respond within our own community, how we right these wrongs. The mission of the ancient code of Jewish law teaches that before we can seek God's forgiveness, we must first seek forgiveness from the people we have hurt. This work remains incomplete for us on this Yom Kippur. There is more work being done. We are hopeful that the hours we spend in heartfelt prayer will awaken our commitment to change our ways. But the real test will be how we act in the days ahead. A critical step on the path of change is to apologize directly to the people we know we have wronged and to publicly confess to those we are not even aware of having harmed. On behalf of the URJ, I am profoundly sorry. We cannot erase what has happened, but we can and will acknowledge and learn from the past so that the future is more equitable, inclusive, and respectful to all. I commit to you that we will meet this moment. I pray that our observance of Yom Kippur will be probing and transformative, helping us become the best people and the most inspiring movement that we are meant to be. And to those I may have personally wronged, I offer my deepest apology. Gemar Chatima Tova, may you be inscribed and sealed for a new year overflowing with courage, honesty, healing, and new beginnings.